Thanks, Coach. A bit of a sloppy track here at Soldier Field. Still getting some of the wraparound rain bands of a low-pressure system that's hovered over Chicago the last couple of days. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Cleveland Browns and the Chicago Bears. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. Go, this will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Ready, ready! 50, plant! X3, 218, chop it! Give these traps, let's go! Hey, seam six, seam six! You ain't going nowhere! Mike 5-9, Mike 5-9! They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. Here we go. They lose the yardage, and of base. course, they also Here lose go. the down on the grounding like, call, hey, and Charlie. it's quickly second and long. Ready, ready. They'll drop the throw. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first-round pick, Demarius Randall. And the return will stop right around the 25. Great. 26, Mike. 26, Mike. Let's go. Keep Look at me. Go on. Go on. Right, here we go. Go on. Go on. Let's go. First carry of the game for Christian McCann. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Yeah, now again, right side of McCaffrey. The ball's out. McCaffrey lost it. And this is picked up by the Bears. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. And hopefully for both sides, not a sign of things to come, Charles. This morning, it was so perfect outside, but we knew this weather was coming, and we see the effects of it here early on. And I wonder if how perfect it was this morning. It psychologically fooled everyone. You know, it's almost like even though we were told the weather was coming, you know the teams knew it as well, that maybe they got fooled and thought, ah, it's going to be okay. And now they're probably a little upset that it's out there. Because the warm-ups were dry. Oh, well, dry. And now you've got to make the change up, and it's the first quarter. Might take a little time to settle in on their focus and concentration. Check 37. Hey, Delta. Second and 11. Going down the middle, and it's complete. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Let's go. 60 Pittsburgh. Five, five. All day. Pass the trip. Be trip. Now on first down, he'll drop the throw. Very deep here for Allen. And that is club on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's Mike second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and hey, ten. Fifty-nine, Mike. Fifty-nine, Mike. Check, check. Fifty-nine. Let's go, D. Shoot. Second and ten. Escape and he goes down. The number one pick, Miles Garrett, coming in to drop him. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Mike, Mike, check, check. 59, 59. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, Mike 5-9, Mike 5-9. Blue Dan, Blue Dan. 59 hit it. Check, check, now 59. on third and long, they look to throw. Go. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Thought they were going to force a fourth down. Instead, P.I. gives him the first. And that's Pick frustrating because you think Jim, you've taken Jim, them really Jim, deep Jim. into the count, haven't you? Check out, Instead, man. you've got to start all over. That can really, really demoralize. Now try and run through with Barkley. Run, run, run. 
And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Shift, shift, shift. Hey, Alpha! Mike's 59! Mike's 59! Quarterback, don't get nervous now. We ain't begin to tear you up. Now. Second and six. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. A great play there. There to make the grab. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59. Mike to 59. I'm coming after you. I'm coming hey, after you. Zoom. Mike, Mike, check, check. 59, 59. Hey, man, hey, man. Watch the boot. Watch the boot. Let go. I'm trying to throw for it. And that is going to be caught. And it moves the lead to 8 nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Come on, set. The Browns hey, drive Peter. about to get started. We got one for the two fighters. were on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. Ready, ready. They nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, and pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with go, nothing, not a good one, feeling at 15, all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? They'll look to throw here in the first half. And a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. And Brandon, the passing game for both of these teams is going to be affected as the game goes along. It's not looking like the rain's going to let up anytime soon. So that might mean a few more wobbly passes and wide receiver slips. And this one winds up getting intercepted. A first down run by Barkley, unsuccessful, as he won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Back to the loss to start out. Here's second and 11. They'll set up to throw. First out to his left. He's going to take off with it. They'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible Wait, negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Mike's 59. Mike's 59. He runs, he runs, he runs. Smooth. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Watch the third He's going to launch this thing way right downfield. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Browns will take over with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. Three, three. Bam, bam. Three, three. The drive begins with a run jump, by jump, McCaffrey. Jump, jump. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. 60 yards. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. 25, check 25, check 25. 6-6, six, six. pull it high. Three, check three. Two. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And the field position doesn't get much better than this. They'll have it first and goal at the eight-yard line. Well, they were obviously backed up. Had a little bit of space from the goal line. Ready, ready. From the three, but still trying in to throw it. And... And... Yeah, exactly. This guy inside his 2020 comes into play, right? And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. A great effort there. 
with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. As the Bears push further out in front. And again, it's no good. A few boo birds coming out as he's missed his second extra point here in the first half. Drive about to get started. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14 nothing already as they come up first and 10. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Got it. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Give me two jet bombers. Give me two jet bombers. Step. Gonna look to throw. Get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. The start of the second quarter gets the Browns in control of the football. They'll need to convert a third and seven, though, to start things out. They'll look to throw. Throwing deep for Gallagher. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. You hear me laughing, partner. Am I laughing at the situation? But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. Y'all not ready? Hey, high seven. 59, Mike. 59, Mike. Check, check. 59. Rip left, rip left. Mike's 59. Ready, ready? Give it a knock up Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And I think the Browns got it. They did. And maybe that was. by the weather. Of course, the rain coming down. Charles, can you maybe, when you're carrying that football, grip it too tight in the rain? I think that you can, and there's such a delicate balance, too, because when you grip it so tight, sometimes it'll slip out from your body. You squeeze it too hard, and it'll pop out on its own. I've actually had running backs talk to me about that, that when they've tried too hard, even in perfect conditions, the ball gets away from them. They've got to find that good balance, carrying it firmly, yet at the same time under control. On the ready. Second and ten hey, now from the 27. The... He's not going to get me. They'll look to throw. Looking for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Snags it from the pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. Well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it, Mike, Kurt Mike, Coleman? Check, check, check. Oh, yeah, that's right. with the Eagles. That's right. Then no the, with the Eagles, and I believe it was against Washington kill, and Rex kill, kill. That's correct. Kill! Kill! No, no, no. Off, off, off. Get it. They'll come out throwing it on first down. Going deep here. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Try touchdown Chicago. A big play there. An 80 yard touchdown as the Bears push through the line in front. One play. 80 yards, pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. Let's go. The Browns drive Gator. about to get started. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three Wait. scores. A three and out here. An inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big yeah, shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all General these points West. back on one drive. Under you're not. Under and last time Under I looked at the first Under half, Under I'm not saying you have the ultimate patience here. But you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Four yards, the pickup, first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Hey, alert three, alert three. Four, four. Shoot. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. 
60 out long. Recon, look at you fighting. Much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Come on, set. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. 26, Mike. 26, Mike. Hey, team six. Team six. 26, Mike. 26, Mike. Looking to throw. This one complete into the hands of Higgins. The 20, 10, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. A big play there, 77 yards. As they are now on the board here in the first half. Down three scores already. This game was really in danger of getting away from them. They needed a drive like that, especially on the road. Not only to calm themselves, but maybe tamp down the crowd a little bit because everything was against them. As you noted, this game could have gotten away from them very easily, but instead, the calming drive, now they have a little bit more confidence. Okay, we're back in it. All right, we're ready to go. That was impressive. And the defense now needs to reciprocate. Here we go, here the we go. The Bears offense ready game. to go for their hey, next Charlie. drive. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They look good that. so far in the first half. They certainly have a kick back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? He said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well, and he's been right. 59. Squeeze, squeeze, double, double. Any weapon. Check 24. Go. On the draw, this is Parkway. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Boom. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got go a running back of this size so. and these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half. And some of these shorter games turn into bigger runs later. Loose. And this is picked up by the Browns. There he goes, right side. And he's into the end zone. You it's been, a fumble you return That's for the so Browns oh, TD. So this defense clicking early in the year, week one, the return for a touchdown. The organization made a concerted effort in the offseason to improve this defense. I have to say they like the early returns. Footing always a concern, but the extra point's up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. We got this. Ready? At the line, Set. prepping for their next Set. drive, the Bears offense. Hey, They'll Delta. be looking to make amends Let's for the go. events of a moment ago. A fumble return for six points. You absolutely have to protect the football. That's got to be. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside this the 30 yard stop. line. You see me out here? That's right. We can't be stopped. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Back for another year, and he'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, 28 yards. As they are an extra point right now from tying this football game. PAT up and good by Rosas. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. But that return gives them a golden opportunity to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? 
the set. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. The They'll need to regroup Strip after the costly interception Check. last time. It led to a tying touchdown. 21 all is where we stand, and they've got it first and 10. They begin with a run by He's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. You're out. Coming again. Shit, shit, shit. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Come on, switch it. Five, five. And I second and two. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. As they'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. Ready up. 53, check 53. Yeah, let's get a sack launch. You go tight. You got tight. You got tight right there. Slam, slam, slam. Hey, exit. Check 53's mic. Check 53's mic. All day, just like that. Just like that. Mike, 53. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. The man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, it really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. Ready, ready. The Browns drive about to get started. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first time? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions to spring them together. Could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. They'll run with McCaffrey. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. On third down, here's Harris. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. At the Eight, line, three. prepping for their next drive, the Go. Bears offense. Time here for likely one play, and then these two teams will head to the locker room all even. And you know the play caller's just feeling it right now. Let's go ahead and go for it. Right? Big shot Gator. down. No, no, no. I guarantee the head coach is like, don't get crazy. Take the knee. Let's get out of here. Tie game. We'll just start all over. All right, coach. Thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Guts fielded in the end zone. The Browns drive about to get started. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. It'll be interesting because the sides feel pretty good about where their offenses are going. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made. And now here's another interception. 
Picked off at the 49. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you've got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur. Don't you start getting those numbers up there a little bit? But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. At the 47-yard line. Ready, break. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. I got you, boy. I got you, boy. Check, 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 check. check. Look at this, a tight end carry. Run, 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 run. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third yeah, down. Baby. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, Mike, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed you. to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. This is Barkley. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And they will have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. 60 out long. Right here, right here. General West. And I... They keep it with Barkley on first down. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Get ready, get another ready, nice game, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Here we go, here we go. 90, Wolf. That's the pass. Jack, Jack, Jack. 61, matchbox lights. Rush in, rush in, rush in. Fifty-nine, Mike. Fifty-nine, Mike. Check, check. Fifty-nine. Be careful. Be careful. They'll try one third on first and goal. Yeah, and not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five yeah, down to the baby. three. Boom. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, yeah. doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? We'll set five straight runs. Yeah, five one straight three, three, carries fighter. to start this drive, and like you said, Action. the way it's working, Action. they may just stick with it. Two. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how we're going to slow down this running game because of that particular play. They had no answer. That'll be taken in the end zone. And Hillowek not to return this go, one, so go. they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Browns drive about to get started. And last time was a pretty one play in an interception. See if they can do better. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's his second sack of the game. The best defensive ends. They do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them. What moves they need to do to them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. That catch good for five. It's third down. Oh, an alpha. Stick the oar. Mike 22, Mike 22. Let go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Give me some. Give me some. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off around the 41. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this 70, and have seen 80. it. But it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. The guys don't get a throw. Six interceptions in the game. The likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre. I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. He's going to look deep down the field, and that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And it is true, you can draft the fastest, you can draft the most athletic guys, 
But if they don't know the Let's art of positioning, base. sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, Get in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, Bravo. His hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough mark, catch, though. Mark. Falls check, incomplete. Check, Come on. Five. They'll set up the ball. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Browns drive about to get started. They're Leo, sort of seeing Leo. themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we're having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you got to do something to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back. Get themselves. He's got a man complete. Let's go. A big play that time for Cleveland. 44 yards. On first down, this is McCaffrey. You must be true. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the Come afternoon, on, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Bomber. Two. They'll look to throw now on first down. Complete, it's Johnson. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Another go. nice gain. That's Stick now 30 out. yards between go. those last two plays. And now the Bears are left to call Let's a timeout it. defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Got it. 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. That's our one with McCaffrey. Quick, quick, quick. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. That's it. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. Rocket, rocket. Rock oh, hate to see this. Rock. Rock. The season will be back. And he goes Let's go. backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. He's crossing. He's checking crap. Snap. They'll look to throw in third and goal. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Yo, the Jack offense Rip, stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. Back to throw here. And now look at him go. 30, past the 20. So they go for it on fourth and... Oh, and he takes off with it. It's a fake. The ball comes out. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. Back now at Soldier Field. The fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. That's fielded in the end zone. The Browns drive about going. to get started. I'm going and following you. the pick six, I'm going and they to you. decent right right position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Hey, hey, Ward. My 22, my 22. He's picked it off at his own 46. 20. The red interception sets them up beautifully all the way in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, ready, ready. Hey, shoot, go. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that is caught. Touchdown. 
short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's going to be out of bounds here as the run back will leave him shy of the 20 yard Let's go. line. Let's go. Here we go. The Browns drive about Ten to get over. started. And they've sort of Check lost back. their Check way, back. partner. How do they recalibrate Check and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, have your fun. All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. Sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A good pick up there for the Browns, 15 yards. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Let's go. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Top two. One play action, no throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Throwing right, and that's complete. Call it no gain on the dump I'm ready. off, and it's third down. The Browns check, check, on third Pilot, down. 64, just one wait. for five to this point. This is third hey, and nine. Go. Back to throw. Dancing to his left. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage they downfield. They They've been around this league for a while, and many down. coaches we never pull their starting set. quarterback, almost no matter the situation. Set, ready? In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating mark, out there. Yeah, with the deficit, they may not want to risk an injury. They'll make the throw here. He sets the fire deep. And this is going to be incomplete. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. So from the 39 now, they come up on a first and 10. They'll drop the throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Ready, ready. The job becomes twice Mike, as difficult now Mike, after the sack. It's second Ricky, and 20. Ricky, Ricky. Let's go. Got you, boy. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they won't put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. They don't need to run another play before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it. Under a heavy and down he goes. Christian Kirksey in there to record another sack, and that is now on six the on the afternoon for this defensive unit. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Here comes the Bears punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. <laughs> and now a high kick trying to pin him back. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here we go, here the we go. The Browns drive about to get started. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here. It will do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better as they continue to play. It's coming and down he goes. I remember throughout my career when defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the pass. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers. And it's going to be taken down. Sacked back at the two. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at the 40. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. 
And give him now four interceptions in this game. That's only the third time ready, ready. this has been done since the year 2000. I think that tells you how much better teams have gotten at throwing the football. Because you go back to 1960, 12 times before that, there have been guys who've gotten four interceptions or more in a game. I mean, most recently since 2000, Delta O'Neal and D'Angelo Hall. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. That would have been from way downtown. Pretty big roll of the dice, and he comes up a bit short. Yeah, you knew when you saw the holder setting up on the other side of the 50. <laughs> this is going to be a long shot. But to me, there's really no loss here because you've shown confidence in him, kicking it from a long distance. They'll pay dividends. And the miss, you can shake that one off. He wasn't likely to make it in the first place. So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your days. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon, so apparently neither guy is immune. So Let's without go, making baby. excuses, you have to figure that this rain has had an impact now on both of his missed field goals. It's one of those situations really difficult to practice for and tough to prepare yourself against. It's just a whole different animal kicking in the rain, and we've really seen him struggle. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. And what is going on here? Are they serious? First down, and they're in punt formation. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. Able to make one man miss, but he will be corralled around the 10-yard line. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for the Bears, that'll be a happy locker room as they start this season 1-0. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for Cleveland, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.